so today is day six actually the last day not really the last day kind of like the second to last day um we left nishidai or where we were staying my brother's place we were riding the skyliner all the way to narita airport where we're gonna stay at a hotel so i'll keep you updated all right so here we're saying bye to tokyo and we're heading back to narita airport i don't know if you can see the tokyo sky tree in the background here. bye tokyo We just arrived at our hotel. It's called uh, Toyoko Inn, but really it's a hotel. It's a nice view of the parking lot. But it's nice. It's really close to Narita Airport's various terminals. But yeah, we're chilling here for now until we leave Japan tomorrow. We're back at it again at Krispy Kremes. We're getting some donuts, as you can see here. Some weird looking donuts. We left the hotel and we're at Narita Airport waiting for our flight at five. Me and my brother might leave to walk around old school Narita. Right now we're just eating sushi at Krispy Kremes, like I said. Bro, that jam looking ah, that looks so good, bro. We got some salmon over here. All right, this place is uh, a little better than Kura Sushi in terms of quality. This is some scallop. Oh, I'm excited to try this one. They're trying the sweet potato right now, which is apparently a delicacy here. Uh, and everybody So I have around two and a half hours to spend at Narita, this city area. We're gonna be heading to the temple nearby. I'll find out what it's called when I get there. I feel like that's more an authentic experience because I'm not looking it up on Google Maps. My brother is <coughs> beautiful older part. I could pull out my camera, but to be honest, I just want to soak in this moment because this is my last adventure in Japan. I feel like vlogging it is a much more memorable experience rather than taking pictures. Cow head. Here is the marketplace. You can see it's a lot of old school, old style buildings. Really beautiful. I really love this place. But just, you know, it's a lot more. Oh, true. I'll get a small one. That's cute. I want a yellow one. 320. Money has to do with money or something. But I think it doesn't really matter. Just want a yellow one. That's like 330. I want a yellow one. You can see little street vendors here. It's adorable, bro. I love this place. This is so clean. This is so pretty, bro. And for my brother, this is kind of cool because he hasn't explored a new part of Japan in a while. He's been staying in Tokyo, going to the same places, showing his friends around, showing his family around. But this time he gets to see a new place. Oh, really? Oh, wow. That's a long line. See the line for this. Teppanyaki. Ooh, brown 7 Eleven. In respect, in respect. Yeah, I'm probably gonna record a lot since this is my last adventure. It's awesome, bro. So, the yellow daruma that I got is for good luck with money which your boy needs, especially because he's graduating. Yeah, so when you're traveling in downtown Tokyo, you'll probably ride the Omote Sando line at some point. It's wild because this is also Omote Sando. You can see how crazy this gets. Hold up, I'll show you. Bruh. See that? That's how crazy this area gets. There's a lot of people. But it makes sense because this is near the airport. That's insane. I'll do another one. Ready, set, go. You can start to see the smoke in the area and that's because there's a lot of street vendors, a lot of food, love it, a lot of street food. Ooh, thrift store, hype. <laughs> so cute. Oh, I just tried this. Oh well. This thing is, uh, this whole thing is one candy according to my brother. Crazy. I don't know what it's called. Oh, oh, I see, I see. 
It's just shaped that way. That's hype. If I had more time, I would try all of these things. I'm right here. You're about to see something amazing. I hope you're ready. My brother said he's been sleeping on Narita, which is kind of interesting. Because, you know, Narita, you think of the airport, but there's so much more. Of course, it's always how it is, bro. Well, at least know that it's well appreciated by all these people here. It would make sense that this place is just brimming with personality and people interested in this culture. And there's not much foreign people here. It's just mostly Japanese people. Because people don't know about it. They just go straight to Tokyo. Yeah, it's like people will go to Tokyo, they don't even go here. Oh man, I could pull out my camera, but honestly, it's okay care more about the vlog than the clout. Did you hear that? I care more about the vlog and my own memories than clout. Cause what would I do with the pictures? I just post them, get some likes. Not important to me. That, that's what I want to see. Shiba, shiba. They're very cute. Walking canes. That little boy's holding his little puppy. There's the taller temple right there. You can see it off in the distance. We'll go there in a sec. This is beautiful. I'm, I'm kind of speechless, man. I would have never expected to see this on my last day. Right now, if I didn't go here, I would just be at the airport, bro. Thankful, thankful. Oh my gosh, this is Daruma Central, bruh. I'm glad I bought one because I, I could, how would I feel leaving this place without getting my own? Just try the dried orange. I'm pretty sure anything in this entire aisle tastes really good, even the Darumas. No disrespect to Taitoku, but I really like this place a lot better. Both are amazing, but I truly like this place a lot better. Of course, throwing money for luck. And you can ring the bell over there. Well, it's only become more and more impressive. Clearly, it has not gotten any less interesting. It's only gotten more and more beautiful each time. With every step that I've taken, every stair step that I've taken, every rock, every pebble, every cement brick, every wooden brick, that doesn't exist. Woo, very colorful. I don't know if it has to do with the new year. It might have to do with the new year, but. Go up the steps and see what's up. So yeah, it's just wild that even my brother doesn't know too much about this place. You already know about my personal commitments and not taking videos inside of temples. What was going on in there is basically like they were having a service. It's really cool. Sorry, this is a really ugly angle of me. I don't give a... Wait, there we go. And here's one of the taller temples. It's so beautiful. And I've already shown you what it looks like all around. It is so nice here. I would recommend this place to you guys if you have like an extra day, if you have some time to kill before leaving uh, from Narita or arriving at Narita. Either way, it's so good. Like Nico, never forget Nico. That was walking in those Converse's up and down to the hill. I'll never forget. Never, and I mean ever, wear Converse in Japan. Unless, never. 
<laughs> just don't, bro. If you're a tourist, just don't do it, bro. Nothing with some comfortable insole. Narita san, Shinshoji. San, implying mountain, which is why we had to walk uphill to get here. Narita san, Shinshoji is actually one of the largest temple grounds in Japan with a history of over 1,000 years. Throughout its history, especially in the Edo period around 1703, it has been heavily associated with kabuki actors. Basically, a popular kabuki actor named Ichikawa Danjuro played the role of Fudomyo, a prominent figure in Shingon Buddhism. Fudomyo even has a sculpture on these grounds. Tootie Tootie Guadalupe, my duty. Bro, oh my. Here's the temple, it's beautiful. Either way, I'm just taking a quick video. Just wanna say how lovely this looks. I don't want you to see my double chin, so I'm gonna just do this real quick. But anyway, look at that. I'm from a low angle right now, but it's amazing. This looks great. And right across this is the park. Anything you wanna say, brother? I was about to get some quick grub. All right, brother, do you know what you just ordered? Pork bun. Well, that was amazing. Now we're heading back to uh, Omatesando. I want to get a shake or some kind of boba tea at least. Milk tea. You know, I love me some milk tea. I'm excited. I'm kind of sad because this is our last adventure, but you know, my brother will still walk around by himself. Hope he has a good time, but I'm gonna be, I gotta go. I gotta get out of here, bro. Not that I want to, but oh, yeah, yeah, I gotta leave. It's okay though, we're good on time. What is that? Nagi. Yo. Really he got some unagi from this place right here. Thank you. He's letting me have it. This is this is so good. Hey yo, that line we saw earlier, it only got longer, bro. Only got longer. If we had went, that would have only taken us like 10 minutes or less. Alright, so I just ordered some homemade tapioca, so I'm excited. She's making it right now. I'm really excited. It's like just upstairs in the shop, so the local, the local recipe. So there's just some uh, Japanese TV playing. Type. This is some good milk tea, good homemade milk tea. And you wouldn't believe it. Oh no, he left. Aww. Come back. Uh, and everybody... <laughs> Bruh. Just do one last goodbye to my brother. It was nice meeting up with him again. Of course, we spent a lot of the Philippines together. I didn't vlog any of that, but we spent a lot of time together in the Philippines. So it's not really a goodbye, I'll just see you later. I always see my brother anyway. I'm pretty sure I'll see him sometime soon, but and the gaps have become a lot smaller from the intervals when we see each other, so it's all cool. So yeah, I'll say goodbye here. See ya, brother. All right, just said goodbye to my brother. Time for me to head back to the airport. My brother's gonna go straight home from here, but uh, good thing I had one last trip with him, so. Also, the name of the place I just came from is Alpaca Tea Room, so definitely head there when you go to Narita. Go ahead and give it a visit, local business. Glad I supported it. And they have their own massage thing too, so it's great. And with that, this <sighs> closes the curtain on winter wandering. It's been fun, it's been sweet, it's been hype. And as you can see, I'm reusing footage because I didn't record any more after that. I've never had as much fun editing something as I did this vlog, but I also have never worked so hard to make something as goofy as possible. I hope you enjoyed and also got to see a different side of travel vlogs. I'll see you on the next video. Also, the final hype counter was 14, including the one I just said. I'm